A powerhouse in Spanish Fort looking for redemption and big waves being made in Gulf Shores. Tonight, our continuing high school football coverage takes a closer look at last year's 6A runners up and the collegiate coaching staff taking the reins in Gulf Shores. NBC 15's Colin Cahill has the story. Tonight, we dive back into the toughest region in the state of Alabama, Class 6A Region 1, with two teams that share the same motto, finish what you started. 38 days away from kickoff, and so we've got a lot to do in a short period of time. And Hudspeth has been busy. The former college coach has established a one-of-a-kind coaching staff in the county. And then the next thing that allowed me to do is come in and hire a, a staff that I think that is... Uh, it's going to give us a great opportunity to close that gap. More than 50 years of college coaching experience on the staff, plus a slew of transfers. That includes Max Preps Freshman of the Year, Ronnie Royal, a key for Hudspeth to compete in 6A, eliminating players playing both ways. And I think last year they maybe had up to eight that played both ways. We want to get to where we are only one-way players, but with the exception that Ronnie is a guy, he, he, his, his tank is never empty. Last year's state runner-up, Spanish Fort, doesn't need much motivation. The Toros won't be happy with being second best. It's losing these two state championships, we realize it's not about getting there, it's about finishing. No, so we just can't be happy to get there. Even with back-to-back -back appearances in the state title game, Region 1 is still as tough as ever. It's definitely one of the toughest regions uh, I've ever had to coach in. You, you got to prepare week in and week out, and you got to stay healthy and you got to have some luck. Blackman has won multiple state titles while at Spanish Fort, and the recipe for doing that has never changed. We've made successful runs the last two years, but you know, we got we to learn to finish. You know, just like you said, we, we're going into the fourth quarter the last two years, and we're leading, and, and we just we didn't close it out. And like the coach said, it all comes down to how you finish. Spanish Fort, they want to finish on top of the mountain. Meanwhile, Gulf Shores, they're looking to climb it. Reporting in Spanish Fort, Colin Cahill, NBC 15 News.